Hey guys, MD Prepper here. One of my first medical style reviews. This one is going to be an intro to first aid kits and all that. Uh, just basic stuff. Going to start out. I've had a lot of PMs, a lot of messages and comments about, hey, can you just show us some vids on what you'd carry for first aid? Okay, uh, we're going to start off focusing on basic, you know, hiking, camping, first aid. I'm just talking day trips, night trip, overnight. Not talking long term SHTF. That is a series of videos that could go on forever and ever and we may actually do that at some point. We're going to start off light here with first aid kits. Um, now these are not travel first aid kits or anything like that. Just some I picked up recently just for comparison. Just talk about, uh, I've looked online at all the various survival first aid packs and all that. They all suck. Okay. It all sucks. Everything I've seen commercially bought is awful. Maybe somebody's got one out there. I've seen some you know, mini hospital packs that are full backpacks for 300 400 bucks. Yeah, those might be okay, but not for that price, okay? We can get by with most of the needs that we're going to need to cover for first aid. We're relatively cheap, but looks like we're going to have to make it ourselves. The ultimate goal of this kit, again, this is just for a single person. You can got to scale this, but I'm going to put all of the basic first aid that I carry in this little dry bag. Nice blaze orange so you can see it when you need to get to it. So this is not huge. It's going to compress down smaller. It's not going to be this full size. Uh, when I'm done with it. And of course, most of the stuff in this kit, well, a lot of it, is going to have multiple uses. Okay. Um, let me complain about these kits first. Okay, first of all, this one's a Johnson & Johnson one. Got Walmart for nine bucks, which was way overpriced in my opinion. This is Johnson & Johnson all-purpose first aid kit. <laughs> all-purpose first aid. No, this is a one-purpose first aid kit. Maybe two. Uh, over here we've got another one. This is the Be Smart Get Prepared kit. This was four fifty, five bucks. This is a hundred piece kit. Again, this is not a multi-purpose first aid kit. It's for one purpose, maybe two. Uh, over here, uh, the first aid for uh, Johnson Johnson was one hundred and sixty-two items for nine bucks. And finally, I got this little itty bitty plastic case for a buck at Dollar Tree. Uh, again, it sucks too. We're going to go over each of these. This is going to be some long videos, guys. Bear with me. Uh, first one here, Johnson & Johnson. Let's pop this bad boy open just to give a quick review. Now, this one's basically got the same stuff, just less of it. Uh, some coupons, bah, whatever. Fabric Band-Aids. 30 Band-Aids. Why in the world would you need 30 Band-Aids in a basic little kit? I mean, how many wounds are you going to treat out of this one kit? 30 is ridiculous. Oh, but wait, we've got more. We've got 80 bandages here. So that's 110 bandages for your basic first aid kit. Good Lord. Um, of course, you've got this little pocket kit, which is very similar to this one. This is a little grab-and-go first aid. Actually, I like the little dollar one better. Uh, this one's got two cleansing wipes, four gauze, two adhesives that are the fabric, and two of the standard band-aids. That's nothing. 12 pieces. Bah. Uh, this is much better overall. Got this giant cardboard divider in here. That's a lot of space you're wasting. That's garbage. Uh, gloves. Man, yeah, I can't say bad things about those. Gloves are okay. First aid guide. We'll talk about that here in a second. Oh, cold pack. Well, those are kind of useful. Not really. Uh, especially because it says store at room temperature. Uh, well, not going to be good in the car on a hiking trip for long, so that sucks. A little bit of tape for taping things down. That's okay. I'm not going to complain about that, but duct tape is going to do better. Uh, one big bandage. That's all right. Ah, two by two pads. Useful. Actually something useful for multi-purpose. Um, what do we have here? We've got little butterfly closures. There eh, might be some purpose for these. I'd say stereo strips are going to be better. We've got a giant stack of cleansing white towelettes. What is that, nine of them? Good Lord, that's a lot. Um, yeah, this is going to be a... Anyway. Oh! Neosporin. Two packets. That's it. Two packets. From what I can tell, this entire kit is made for nothing but minor wounds. Um, what are you going to clean the wound with? Well, we, let's see. Where were the alcohol wipes? Where were the alcohol? We have these little moist toilets. These could be okay. Or an alcohol pad, but I've got two packets of Neosporin and a million Band-Aids. Uh, I can treat effectively, uh, let's see, rate limiting step, Neosporin. I can treat two wounds. I've got over a hundred and, 
well, close to 120 bandages here, and I can effectively treat two wounds, okay? Um, garbage. Now, similar in the rest of these kits, uh, this one's just a little smaller, same style stuff. Eh, throw that aside here. Is this okay to have in the house, just to have a stack of band-aids and stuff? Sure, okay, it's all in the same place, that's fine, but this is not first aid. Um, to demonstrate my point, the first aid booklet that comes with it, let's see, just to list a few. Amputation, oh, not going to help you with this kit. Uh, bleeding, eh, minor stuff, but nothing major. Breathing problems, again, nothing. Broken bones, burns and scalds, uh, chemical burns, choking airway obstruction, cold exposure, frostbite, heat exhaustion, heat stroke, penetrating objects, maybe, um, poisoning, no, shock, no, splinters, again, you don't have any tweezers or pickups, so again, no, sprains, again, no, stings, again, no, sunburn, unconsciousness, oh, wound care and infection prevention, yeah, that, this could do okay for two small scratches. All of these garbage. I just can't go on enough about how dissatisfied I am with the uh, first aid kits out there in the world. They're just bad, okay? First aid is not just wound care. Um, there's a lot more that goes into it. Again, some of this is going to take extra training. You're going to need CPR and that type of stuff. Uh, let me give you the leading causes of death. This is not all of them, but just some of the ones that matter out on the trail. You know what the number one leading cause of death in America is? Males or females, heart disease. Uh, anything in here to treat heart disease? Uh, heart attacks, anything like that? No, no, absolutely not. Uh, you can have a heart attack on the trail. Uh, you need to at least have some of the basics. Uh, number two is cancer, so probably not going to do much with our first aid for cancer, so that's okay. Uh, unintentional injuries is 6.6%. That is very small. With heart disease at 26 and cancer at 24, unintentional injury at 6.6, .6, that's small. Uh, half that rate, 3% diabetes. When you have anything in this treat, uh, this kit you can treat basic diabetes issues with, you know how to do that? No. Uh, slightly down in the infectious disease world at 2.1% is influenza and pneumonia. Uh, again, nothing in this to treat real infectious disease, just superficial stuff. We can do a better job than that out in the field, guys. Here's a quick list. I'm just reading them out, not real classy or anything, but uh, just from Wikipedia's first aid section, and this is not all of them. Here's the basic stuff that you may need to deal with in first aid. Anaphylaxis, i.e. shock. Uh, if you get stung by a bee, something like that, you know, swelling up, reactions. Nope, nothing in these kits for that. Relatively easily treated, but nothing here for that. Battlefield injuries. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be on the battlefield, hopefully, but that includes bone fractures, uh, gunshot wounds, big slices and dices of your flesh. Uh, no, nope, nothing in here is going to treat battlefield injuries. Bone fractures, again, nothing. Burns, again, nothing. Cardiac arrest and MIs, nothing. Choking, childbirth, well, that's going to take special skills. Cramps, basic muscle cramps. Anything in here going to help you for first aid? Wrong, nothing. Uh, drowning and asphyxiation, lack of oxygen. Again, nothing here going to help you. Heat stroke, nope. Heavy bleeding, nope. Hy hypo or hyperglycemia for diabetes, again, nothing. Hypothermia, insect bites or stings, not really, though. You could use the uh, alcohol pads to some effect. Muscle strains or a sprain of some sort. Nope, again, nothing. Toothache, nothing. Uh, what well, minor wounds. Yeah, that's the last one on the list. Wounds, yeah, this will help somewhat with minor wounds, but not real well overall. So we're going to be going over your personal small kit that you're going to need out in the woods. And some of the options I may choose are going to surprise you. Reason being, I'm going to go for the stuff that's going to kill you. Uh, when you're in medical school, when you're in medical training, the first thing that you get trained on is when you're working up a diagnosis with symptomatology uh, with your patient in front of you, what is the worst condition this person could have? What is the thing that's most likely to kill them? Someone comes in with chest pain. Well, think heart attack. Well, it could be acid reflux. Yeah, but I'm going to rule out the heart attack first before I worry about the acid reflux, okay? Uh, we'll worry about that down the road. So that's kind of my intention with this kit, is dealing with the things that can really screw you up, uh, that can kill you fast um, out there in the world, out there on the trail, something like that. And guess what? It's not scraping your knee. Um, there's a lot more dangerous stuff out there. Get stung by a bee if you're allergic. Bad. Spraining your ankle so bad you can't move alone out on the trail. Bad. Especially if it's bad weather and nighttime's coming. Um, Heavy bleeding, that's the real stuff to worry about. Better be able to handle that out in the field, and there's some relatively cheap, effective ways to do that. But anyway, I'm done with my little rant for the moment. I'm going to actually get into some real medical stuff. 
I'm not going to get into anything that's going to require any heavy medical training. Uh, we can talk about CPR and all that other stuff. You need that. Everybody needs that. But hey, I'm just talking about gear here, okay? My, all my reviews these days are about gear. So we're going to talk about gear and gear you need to carry with you. Um, some of it is not going to be in this kit. Some of it's going to be basic stuff you carry with you in general that all of us are going to have. But uh, basically, we're going to put everything we need for at least one person, probably several. I could probably get three or four people's worth of gear in this one thing myself. Uh, we're going to break it down to what you actually need to carry with you. Do you need to carry either of these on the trail? Absolutely not. Um, out of all these kits, $9, $5, $1, I like this one. This is the way to go. You're going to have to doctor it up, add some stuff, but I like the little plastic case. It's the same size as this little piece of junk. Johnson & Johnson first aid. Yeah, it is, but I'm going to go with Dollar Tree. Uh, one buck. Uh, it's 42 pieces. I will not use them all, and I'm going to be adding lots of stuff to this. Watch my future video, guys. This is just part one on portable first aid. MD Prepper, out.